Tesla stock is down about 15 to 20% based on the consolidation they had around the 200 bucks per share. And it's also down about 60 to 70% since their all time high. Sheesh. The question comes now, is it time to buy or should we wait and maybe it'll reach the all time lows of 102 bucks per share. In this video, we're going to figure out if right now is a good time to buy or not. And obviously this is not financial advice, but this is how I determine if a stock is cheap to buy, Tesla stock if it's cheap to buy or not. And I'm going to share with you guys today. So if you guys are ready, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already, man. Let's go. So here is my time to buy Tesla stock price prediction chart. As you guys can see, I have the bear case, base case, and bull case. And it's purely determined on the PE. That is it. So obviously, we look at the sales, the profits, the revenue, the shares outstanding, the expenses, pretty much what Tesla has to offer on their income statement and a little bit of the balance sheet. This way, we figure out as accurately as possible if Tesla is going to be cheap to buy now or expensive to buy based on these PEs. And and their earnings and all the other things that you see here. And if you guys have been following my channel for some time, this will be the second time I share this chart. And this chart wasn't easy to make. It was quiet. It took me a couple days to make this chart. And boy, oh boy, does that help me buy Tesla stock a whole lot more confidently. And I hope in this video, I hope it shows you guys more confidence or maybe not confidence. I don't know, depending on what your view is and what the PE and what the worth of Tesla is, you can make that decision yourself based on this chart. But to simply go over this chart, as you guys can see, you got the vehicles sold or delivered. Very simple and straightforward. I'm saying this year, one point, a bit over 1.8 million vehicles deliveries. Check out this video on how I got this number. And then in 2024, 2.6 million. In 2025, over 3.6 million vehicles. Average selling price of 50, 50, 49,000. Operating margin, 14% and then get the credits and the FSD, which is at a 15% rate, as you guys can see, because with FSD, so 15% chance that an individual gets a Tesla will opt in for the full price of FSD. We don't have this description database data yet to use it here. So we're just gonna use the one-time fee and it increases by 2000 every single year. So I'm expecting no price increases this year, although they may increase at the end of this decade, end of this year to maybe 17,000 or 17 and a half thousand. But for 2024, that's what I put. And for 2025, 19,000. Then we got the profit margins increasing 2% every single year because it's just profit for them. Then we got energy in 2022. They did about almost 4 billion in energy and about 288 million in profit. In 2023, I said they're gonna do 7.5 billion and almost a billion in profit this year, 2023, which is a 12% rate and I increased it 13% and 14% rate profit rate for 2024 and 2025. Then we got the total revenue and the net income and the efficacy currency expense because that takes a big chunk out of Tesla's net income overall as we saw in Q4, Q3 and Q2. And then we got share of the standing being diluted 2% every single year. Again, we're going to assume there's not going to be any buybacks for the next three years. And then obviously we're going to find the PE and find what the stock prices would be for each case, bear case, base case and bull case. And then we're going to get those cases and then we're going to buy 100 shares with an average cost of 200 bucks and we'll see if you're gonna make a profit or not based on these numbers it's a very interesting concept so i hope you guys are ready and smash that like button if you guys are ready to see so let's start off with 2023 well first off 2022 as you guys know we did reach a stock price of 163 in the first month of january now we did reach 102 bucks per share but that's before the Q4 release and before the total end of 2022, which was over 1.3 million vehicles, revenue of over $81 billion and total net income over 12 and a half billion, which by end of January or February, we were back at 200 bucks per share. It was a crazy run up in January. And so we haven't gone this low yet with the new numbers. So that is a sheesh moment. But if we do go down that low to that 102 bucks per share, that means the PE today needs to be dropped down to 20. No, 25, 25p. So we have to go back to a 25p for Tesla stuff, which is like reading it like Apple and Apple's growing 10%. And I don't know, I don't know. It, it's hard to see 25 PE. Maybe, maybe in this quarter, we can see it go down to 30, 35. I think in the mid 140s would make sense if we, I mean, we are going down to 170 now, may go to 150, maybe 142. I don't know, I'm not, I don't like to look at technical analysis, but if it goes below the, down this low, then man, I'm gonna be buying as much. I mean, this moon's gotta go, this Texas is gonna go, everything's gonna go to buy more shares of Tesla because that's just, cheap but anywho 40 pe i think 
that's where it's going to really stop at if we have a, a mini correction in the market which we are seeing now but nonetheless we could see the pe go to 60 with the stock price of 244 bucks per share or even 80 pe i don't think that's going to be the case but let's go on and let's see 2023 which is a year from now for the whole numbers to come out and let's see what we can get and remember guys in 2023 we have an eps of four dollars and 86 cents which a lot of analysts are saying four dollars and 50 cents we'll play around with this number in just a bit but bear case i could see a pe going as low as 35 and with that we get a stock price of 170 bucks per share which is kind of what it is now if we go to a 35 pe next year or end of this year which is pretty darn interesting for the base case i'm gonna put 50 pe and we get 243 bucks per share which is one dollar less than last year in terms of stock price and for the pe i'm gonna say a maximum of 70 pe and we get 341 bucks per share obviously almost reaching 1.1 trillion in market cap now let's look at in a very very bearish case all right let's say it was what 14 percent analysts are saying for operating margin for vehicles well then the eps was four dollars fifty cents so if we want to go down to four dollars fifty cents it's about 12.8 i believe uh 12.75 here we go 12.75 percent margins for the vehicles and look at that 158 bucks per share 225 bucks per share and bull case 315 bucks per share now if they do four dollars and fifty cents and you know stuff is really bad we can probably see the stock price or the pe go to 25 pe 113 bucks per share if you want to go back to the lows of 102 bucks yeah i guess it's between 22 and a half 23 pe end of next year i don't think that's going to be the case in my opinion but hey welcome to the stock market it can be be very irrational a lot longer than you can stay solvent so if they do four dollars and fifty cents at 35 pe 158 bucks per share it could happen man it could happen i'm i, I mean you never know but again i don't think we're gonna reach four dollars and fifty cents i think keeping it at a 14 percent a minimum 13 and a half percent i mean the 160s would make sense but i'm gonna be optimistic and say 14 percent now what this tells me from 2022 to 2023 is that there's no rush in buying tesla stock you do have time to dollar cost average and to accumulate as many shares as you like so there's no panic there's no rush in you getting as much shares as soon as possible but let's see what 2024 has to offer us and i put here 15 percent for 2024 because again cyber truck's coming out and that's high margin and we have over 2.6 million vehicles deliveries with the you know cyber truck there as well and we got the help of economy of scale which will help the profit margins at the end and then here we got the eps of seven dollars and 24 cents gary black is saying seven dollars and 20 cents so i guess we're on the right i guess you can say track although i do think we may hit seven dollars and 80 cents but nonetheless let's see they're doing almost 150 billion dollars in revenue and almost 24 billion in net income that's insane bro that's like it's such crazy that's a 2x from 2022 and 2024 end of 2024 so that's insane so anyways pe i'm gonna say 30 in the bear case and we get a stock price of 217 bucks per share which is not bad base case 40 pe and we get 389 bucks per share and the bull case 60 pe and we get 434 bucks per share and a market cap almost one and a half trillion dollars sheesh Moving on to 2025. Now, 2025, I'm going to give the bear case PE of 25. And I think because they're doing over $37 billion in net income, the PE will get more compressed, obviously. But a 25 would be a bear case in this scenario. And with that, we get a stock price of 277 bucks per share. And, you know, in the bear case, as you guys can see, for the next three years, if you think these are the right PEs for your valuation, for what you think Tesla's worth, then we haven't even hit a trillion yet. That means we haven't recovered from the all-time highs, even by... 20 end of 2025 when they did over 3.6 million in vehicle deliveries so that's insane and that's why i think it's not that realistic but the base case i gave it a pe of 35 and we get a stock price of 388 bucks per share and a market cap of 1.3 trillion dollars bull case man we can i could see the pe going you know as high as 50 depending on the micro environment and we can get a stock price of 555 bucks per share and a market cap almost reaching 1.9 trillion dollars now if we go in a bull market i could see staying at the 60 pe's you know reaching the triple whoa 666 six, six, not, not a good number but uh over 2.2 trillion dollars in market cap if we're in that hyper bull market in 2025 but again keeping it conservative 50 pe of five 55 bucks per share and a market cap over almost reaching 1.9 trillion dollars sheesh now let's see what the profit and loss is when we buy 100 shares 
of Tesla stock. If you guys are ready, man, then why isn't that like button smashed? Come on, man, smash that like button and let's see if you're gonna make any money if you buy at these rates. You bought 100 shares, the average cost of 200, and boom, look at that. Your initial investment is 20,000, and let's see, bear case. If you bought 100 shares of Tesla stock at the average price of 200 bucks per share, and the stock goes to 163 bucks per share, you lost about over $3,700. In the base case, if it goes to 60 PE, then you've made $4,420. And the bull case, if it goes to 326 bucks per share or with an 80 PE, you've made 12, over 12 and a half thousand bucks. Not bad. In 2023, unfortunately, you're still down about $3,000 if Tesla stock trades in the 35 PE at a stock price of 170 bucks per share, which honestly, I don't believe that's gonna be the case by end of 2023. I think, we're gonna we're gonna start seeing a bull market by the end of this year, and it's gonna be a really good bull market in 2024. I could be wrong, I don't know, but I have a feeling that's gonna be the case. But nonetheless, you still be down about three thousand if the stock goes to 170 bucks per share, I, even a year from now, which is not fun if the bear case becomes true. If the base case becomes true, then you've made over four thousand three hundred bucks. In the bull case, if you go to 70 PE, you've made about for over $14,000 in 2024. Well, hallelujah, with a, even with a 30 PE, you've made about 1,700 bucks per share. In the base case, with a 40 PE and a stock price of 290 bucks per share, you've made almost 9,000. And in the bull case, with a 60 PE, with a stock price of 434 bucks per share, you've made almost $23,500. Good on you, man, nice. And in 2025, in the bear case, you've made about almost $8,000 with a 25 PE, which again, I don't think that's gonna happen. In the base case, you've made about almost 19,000. And in the bull case, you've made about $36,000 with only 100 shares. Sheesh. Now, what do I think the stock price could be trading at now until 2023? And what do I think is a good time to buy? But let's get into that right now. In my opinion, I do believe that by end of 2023, I'm saying a 60 PE man, around 292 bucks per share, or you're close to 300 bucks, even though my own price target is around the 52 PE, around 53 PE actually, 53 and a half PE. 260 bucks, that's what I do believe that end of 2023, this is what stock price should be trading at, even though we're in this environment. If we get into a bull environment, then we can probably see in the 60 PEs, as a minimum and then anything above that would be you know just in a bull market i do expect it to see the stock price around 300 bucks per share by end of this year so knowing that is right now a good time to buy and will the stock price go lower again i'm a long-term investor guys i don't look what the stock price is going to be today tomorrow i mean if it goes down then heck yeah i'm gonna buy and i have been buying but my projection is until 2030 and beyond but peggy man i want to know what your price target is i want to know what number does it have to hit so you can even go more all in into tesla stock okay i get it let me tell you right now. So I've already told you that my price target end of this year, if they do $4.86 is around the 53 PE mark. Let's just say that around 260 bucks per share. I am willing to buy a whole lot more, not just two shares a day or one share a day, I'm going to buy 10 to 20 shares in a single day if Tesla stock goes to the $163 per share. I mean, it's a 40 PE. Could go lower, man. Could go lower to 35, maybe even to 30 PE, 222. But as long as it reaches the 160s, I'm going to buy heavier. And if it goes to 150s, I'm going to buy even more heavier. And 140, 120, I'm going to keep buying heavier and heavier and heavier. So again, my, my trigger target is the 150s and 160s. If it goes below then, then it's time to go even more all in, man. Sheesh. Honestly, the stock price being between in the low hundreds or even the mid hundreds is ridiculous for Tesla. It's just ridiculous. They just announced their fifth Gigafactory with next gen going to be made there. And that factory is twice the size of Austin. I mean, Gigafactory Texas was the world's biggest car manufacturer. And now it's gonna be Giga Mexico. That is a such a sheesh moment. But moral of this chart, moral of this prediction right here, if it's time to buy or not. Well, if you're again investing for the long term, I think in my opinion, not financial advice, it's a fantastic time to load up, man. Like sheesh. But another thing that tells me is that if you're in it for the short term, you're not gonna make that much gains in this market, man. Unless you're a you know, day trader, you buy at 170 and you sell at 172. But that's not a way that I like to invest. That's not a way how I like to make money. Very stressful and honestly, just time consuming in my opinion. Again, if you're a trader, you may have high success rate, good for you. 
but that, that doesn't work for me, man. I buy today, hold long term, and that's it. And the third thing that this chart tells me is that there's no rush in buying Tesla stock, man. As you guys can see, by end of 2023, if we're still in this bear market with 35 PE, I mean 170 bucks per share. If we go to, let's say, even a 40 PE, 195, a 45 PE, I mean, 219. I mean, we're still gonna be around these ranges if the market sentiment is bad. But I do believe that by end of 2023 or this year, we will slightly see the bull market. I just, every indicator is pointing towards it. And I mean, I might be wrong. I don't know again, but everything looks really good for 2024 and 2025. And again, if Tesla can really, really pull together and actually do over 1.8 million, sheesh moment right there for tesla and it's a big big bull run sheesh and there you guys have it this is a chart that i use every time to see if tesla stock is worth buying now or not and based on the indicators here we're going to that territory right now and i'm getting my hands ready but again guys it's not financial advice but i do hope that this chart gave you some sort of idea if it's worth buying now or if it's not again conclusion what i found out about this is there's no Russian buying Tesla stock, but a great time to dollar cost average and accumulate shares if you believe in Tesla, if you believe in Tesla's gonna solve autonomy, if you believe that Tesla's gonna be the world's most valuable company, if you do believe that Tesla's gonna one day deliver 20 million vehicles, and if you believe in their renewable energy, sustainable energy mission and vision. And in my opinion, I really do believe it. I stand with it strongly. And it's, in my opinion, the probably the greatest opportunity in a lifetime to invest in a company like Tesla. But hey man, don't take it from me, man. Take it from the one, the man, the legend himself, Sandy Monroe, saying that and predicting the Tesla stock could reach a thousand bucks per share by 2026. I mean, that is a sheesh moment, but check it out. It's pretty darn interesting how we came up with that number. Support the channel by becoming a channel member or getting some Go All and T-shirt, merch, poster wall, all that goodies, man. And don't forget to subscribe and I shall see you guys in the next video. See ya. Out.